Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this video, I will be explaining and outlining half a verse from the Holy Quran. So not, not even a full verse. We're not even going to be discussing a full verse. We'll be looking at half a verse. And this half, so few words, literally. But these few words, this half a verse in the Holy Quran, will literally summarize your whole life. So make sure you keep watching. But this verse will summarize your whole life, my whole life, and everyone else around you that is lost. And when I say lost, I mean, you know, not lost in that sense, but you just going about their day-to-day -day activities, just getting through life, basically. And what this verse will also allow you to do <coughs> is... As in, once you, once you finish watching this video, you'll start to think about everything differently. So when you see someone, you'll naturally categorize them in one of these five stages. So this verse, this half a verse, it explains the five stages of life. And it's quite amazing, subhanAllah. It's an amazing verse. And it literally is so true. So that's why I want you to watch till the end. And the other thing is that Naturally, now after understanding the explanation and the tafsir of this verse, you'll you'll categorize each and every person because that is the Quran, right? And everything is true from the Quran, and it's Allah Subhanahu wa Taala telling us about life itself. So what I'll do is I'll recite the verse first, and then we'll explain. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, I intend to bring you a lot more from the Quran al Karim, and also share with those who you know, who may benefit and tell them, you know, whilst when you share to them, tell them, look, you're in, you're in the fourth category or fifth or third. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I'm going to recite the verse and I will explain. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعلموا انما الحياه الدنيا لعب ولهو وزينه وتفاخر وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الاموال والاولاد that's the half the verse. So the ver so the verse hasn't ended, but that's I'm only going to explain the these few words. I'll just finish the verse for completeness purposes. Kamathali Raithin Ajabal Kufara Nabatuhu Thum Mayahiju Fatara Thum Mayahiju Fatara Humusfarwan Thum Maybe in another video it's worth me explaining the whole verse, <coughs> but this we're just going to go from إِعْلَمُوا أَنَّمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا لَعِبْ وَلَهُ وَزِينَةُ وَتَفَاخُرٌ بَيْنَكُمْ وَتَكَاثُرٌ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ So there's five elements, five stages where our life is summed up. And the first stage is إِعْلَمُوا So إِعْلَمُوا know أَنَّمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا That this worldly life إِعْلَمُوا أَنَّمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا What's the first stage each and every one of us go through? لعب. So when you think about it, لعب means play, playfulness. So you're playing. When we're born up until the age of about, say, five, six, all we want to do is play. If you see a baby, if you look at a baby, a toddler, if you, if you analyze their life, what are they doing? They're eating, drinking, laughing, playing toys, Lego, a scooter, going out, going here, going there, just playing. So that's the first stage that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains. The second stage is walahu. 
walahu is like entertainment. So entertainment, what we mean is when you think about it, as soon as, you know, a kid starts hitting age six, seven, eight, these days earlier than that, three, four, we looking for entertainment. Lahu means entertainment. So la'ib is playfulness. Lahu is entertainment. And if you think about it, if you look at a typical child, entertainment, they start playing video games, they start playing PlayStation, Xbox, playing out on the street, even though nobody plays out on the street anymore. When I was growing up, we used to actually play out and enjoy ourselves. And now everyone just behind the, behind the screen, unfortunately. Um, but this is entertainment, you know, watching football, watching sports, cricket, tennis, w whatever it is. But from the age of about four, five, six, seven, till the age of, say, 12, 13, obviously this is all subjective to each and every individual. So it's not like, it's not like each, each person's life has the same sort of thing. You know, every, everyone, everyone has, the, has their own circumstances, their own upbringing, their own capabilities and the rest of it. But I'm just talking broadly. So, you know, laib, but regardless, the, regardless of, you know, not comparing and the rest of it, you can easily put someone into the category of laib or the category of lah. And then what happens? We come to the stage, the third stage, which is azina. Ilamu annam al hayatu dunya laibun wa lahum wa zina. Wa zina. Zina means adornment. Think about it. I know some of you are already thinking, I thought that was going to be the next stage because you start playing video games, you know, you just entertainment, FIFA, Call of Duty, whatever you play. I'm a FIFA guy. Um, I've never been a Call of Duty guy. I played it once or twice at mate's house, but I've always been a FIFA guy. Um, so the next stage is Wazina. Wazina means adornment. So if you think about it, especially in the UK, so I'm talking from a UK perspective, but generally speaking, anywhere around the world, if you look at the guys, you start, you know, you start thinking about your dress sense, 12, 13, 14, secondary school, girls are looking, you know, and vice, vice versa. So the girls, they really start uh, adorning themselves, uh, wake up four in the morning just to put makeup on. I, I know not all girls are like this, but there are girls out there that, have probably done this where they wake up at four in the morning just to put makeup on to you know adorn themselves or having a nice chanel bag um you know wearing nice clothes designer clothing for the guys you know the crepes air max back in my day was air maxes um total 90s but for football but they were the best football trainers um you know wearing Swagged out, being swagged out. So, you know, you're wearing designer clothes, Omani, Nike tracksuit, whatever you're wearing, you're trying to, you're at that stage. So it's so easy now for me, if I see someone, I know that they at the Zena stage. Whether it's a boy or girl, you can just tell. Because, for example, the girl, you know, if even if they're wearing uh, abaya, um, they'll, they'll try to adorn themselves. And look, I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm not saying this is wrong. Nobody's saying laib. It's haram or anything. We're not saying that. I'm just I'm just explaining this verse in the sense that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us, I'lamu, know. He's telling us to know. That this worldly life is these five stages. That's all it is. There's nothing more to life. Um, so, you know, you're at the stage where you're adorning yourself, age 12, 13, 14, secondary, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you know, some people stay at this stage till, till they, till they, till their death. And I, I'm not saying adorning yourself is a is a bad thing. This is good to you know, uh, adorn yourself. But I'm just saying that this is the key point where adornment is the key phase. So you know, uh, haircuts, the girls' makeup, haircut as well, looking good, and the rest of it. The next stage is watafahurum uh, baynakum, and this one's quite interesting. Because I feel a lot of uh, people are watching this video or in this stage just because of the age range. But this is from the age range from about 16, 17, 18. Again, this one, this one and the last one, they go until death. Okay. They generally go until death. But this one is broadly from the age of 18 till about 26, 27. And with the Fahurum Bainakum, what we mean here 
is is when you're competing so you go to college you go to university what you're competing with each other you're, you're trying to be better so what you need you go okay i go oxford so i'm better or i do medicine or i do pharmacy i remember the the university that i went to which was the Montfort university in leicester um I used to feel like the pharmacy students and the law students, they used to have this thing where they thought they're better than everyone. Um, and subhanAllah, I used to always know, and if, if you're in pharmacy and you're watching this, or if you're in law, or if you're in any university degree for that matter, medicine, whatever it is, let me just tell you one thing quite clearly, that it doesn't mean anything, okay? Because the, the way society's made it is that, you know, if you're doing law, or if you're in pharmacy, you're going to get a good job, okay? And that's right, you're going to get a good job, but let me just make it clear, you're going to get a secure job. So, so you know, the, the, the demand will be there and you'll always be in a secure job. But I'll tell you straight, there's a level higher than that, which is running your own business. Okay, so yes, you might have a secure job, but your wage, your salary is capped. You're always working for someone else. Even if you're low coming, your salary is capped the amount you can take away is capped but if you're a business owner you're an entrepreneur this is the highest level okay so i'm not saying it to show off anything but i always knew this and alhamdulillah right now i run my own business and um my income is uncapped so depends how hard i work how creative i am you know uh my income is uncapped and I'm not saying don't do these degrees and I'm not saying don't study and the rest of it, but I'm just saying these people, they used to, they used to act like they're better than, everyone, better than everyone. I'm assuming it still goes on. And all I'm telling you is if you're doing these kind of degrees, don't look down on anyone. Don't think you're better because there's also people in these degrees, then they have a complete change of heart and they end up doing a crappy job. So what I'm trying to say is don't look down on anyone and don't look up to anyone. You know, don't start looking up to anyone just because of the degree. Degree doesn't really mean much these days. Uh, experience means a lot. You can watch my video in terms of accounting and finance and tax, where you don't need a degree to specialize in these fields. So that's my field. Taxation is my field. Uh, I'm a specialist tax advisor. And uh, well, the only, this is a religious video, but the only reason I'm saying it is because one of my other aims in terms of making these videos is I want to promote uh, excelling in Dean and Dunya. Um, I think it's very important for many, as many of us as possible to excel in both deen and dunya. But anyways, that's what it is. Is you start checking, you start checking who's doing better. So I'm doing this degree, you're doing that degree and the rest of it. So, <clears throat> sorry, I've just been disturbed by a special guest. Mashallah, she just woke up. This is my, one of my daughters. No, the younger one. Um, so yeah, that's what the Fakhurun Bainakum. And then the final one, which I'm at this stage, um, as in what the Fakhurun Bainakum, the fourth stage, and what the fil amwali wal awlad, what the fil amwali wal awlad, which is the fifth stage, is most of us stay in these stages. And, and that's what the Quran says. This is the last stage anyway. And you'll see, depending on how old you are, you'll either be experiencing this yourself, or you'll see, you'll see, that uh, the elders, the, those your parents, your grandparents, they'll be at this stage. Again, competing in your wealth and your children. So, you know, how much P is, everyone just talking about P. How much P are you making? What job are you doing? Oh, this guy's making P or she smashed it or he's doing this and he's making this much power and oh, he lives in this house, he drives this car, she does this, she drives that car. You know, this is all وَتَكَاثُرُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ So that's فِي الْأَمْوَالِ أَمْوَالِ is well And أَوْلَاد is children So she came at the right time, isn't it? <laughs> so they're competing in children Oh, what does your children do? Oh, my child is like this um, You know, all this rubbish To be honest, it's all rubbish You know, comparing in wealth and children is all rubbish So, um you know, my child does this, or my child is more intelligent, or my child achieved this, that's all everyone talks about. So, you know, it's important. It's important. It's important that 
I'm not saying these things are wrong, these five stages. I'm not saying they're wrong with the haram, but um, we must. We must. Uh, it's just you know, it's just some information for you. That's the key of the verse. Yeah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sees it black in five stages: lahib, faithfulness, lahu, entertainment, PlayStation, and the rest of it. Zina, if you're doing yourself, uh, make up nice arms, whatever you want to call it. Watafafurun bainakum, competing in your status and what sort of uh, course you're doing. And finally, watakafurun fil amari wal awlad, which is that you're competing in wealth and uh, your children. I would have talked more about the final point, but uh, I'll leave it, at, leave it at that. I hope you found it beneficial. I hope you found it useful. You know, it's not about judging people in these stages, but it's about, you know, you'll see everyone and you'll put them into one of these categories. I'll see. Oh, wow.